Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Geo video. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Sceptile Heal deck, or really just an aggressive Sceptile deck. It's an attacking Sceptile deck, and this deck is very fun to play, and I'm excited to try it out. And before we end the video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure to sub. We are close to 3,800 subs at the time of me filming this, and we are also on the road to 4K subs. We're going to be only 200 subs off 4K subscribers, which I want to reach 4,000 subs, hopefully by the end of February is my goal, so if you guys have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel to uh, help me out, reach my goals. But anyways, we're going to be looking at an attacking Sceptile deck, I guess, is what we're going to call it. So, Sceptile GX is your main attacker. You have two Sceptiles, actually. Um, it's kind of just a Sceptile support deck, you have a few other things in the deck to help support you, but really, your attacker is just going to be Sceptile GX and Powerful Storm Sceptile. So, Sceptile GX really good card i like it a lot right now it's got three attack or three attacks yeah all of them are really good for you so you're stage two pokemon but because you have grove isle it's actually really easy to get septiles chained really quickly it's really easy to get a board state where you have multiple stage twos in play and once you reach that you can use stuff like super synergy septile attacks are pretty strong so you have maka which does 60 damage for one grass energy and then you discard special energy from your opponent's active strong attack if you play against zoark you can run them out of energy fairly quickly because if they only rely on DC, they're screwed. So Mock Cut can give Zoark a rough time, and that's really what it's like. You just want to get rid of those DCEs, hurt a Zoark deck, hurt any special energy heavy deck in general, not just Zoark. But Zoark is one of the main decks that you really put the beating on. And then you have Least Cyclone, which is 130 damage, and you move a Grass Energy from his Pokemon 20 Revenge Pokemon. Another really good attack. 130 damage is good numbers, I think, especially against Baby Buzzwolves. And you also... Um, to move an energy, so if you're playing against Gardevoir, which, spoiler alert, we do play against Gardevoir in this video, Leaf Cyclone saves you the energy from getting KO'd, which is really important. Um, and again, you just hit really good numbers. And then you have Jungle Heal, which heals all damage from each Pokemon that have any Grass Energy on them. Another really good Jex tech, just in the late game, this can be devastating. If you run out of max potions and stuff, this can be a really good way to come in. And of course, Sceptile's got a lot of support for it. We have this other Sceptile here with Power of Nature, allowing you to prevent all effects or all damage done to your Pokemon with any grass energy on them done to your opponent's Ultra Beasts, Buzzwolves, Donglings, Ultra Necrozmos, Belcephalons cannot damage you. Belcephalon is the big one. Obviously Belcephalon shreds through grass decks like No Tomorrow, but Power of Nature says no to that. So Power of Nature is a huge ability to have being able to prevent any damage done to you is amazing and it's just really good against those Ultra Beast decks. But even at Powerful Storm, Thanks to stuff like Subboost Energy and Leaf Cyclone, it's actually really easy to keep your energy in play. And we can just Powerful Storm as a nice non-GX attacker. And we have Grovile to support us too, with Sunshine Grace being able to search check for a Grass Pokemon. is a really good ability to set up, and um, yeah. And we have some other support in the deck. I am playing Alolan Muck. We played in our Greninja deck, but Alolan Muck is here for certain scenarios where it's really good to have Power of Alchemy. Especially against matchups like Granbull, Lost March... Those type of matchups where basic abilities are really prevalent. Power of Alchemy just shuts them down completely. And Vulpix is in here. I mean, this is a great starter. Sceptile is not one to usually play aggressive with rare candy, though we do play the split of the two. Um, but sometimes you can just go beacon and slowly set up your Grove Isles. Get like three Grove Isles down if you have a triple Trico. And you can just slowly beacon Grove Isle and then just set up three Sceptiles by the time Vulpix goes down. And from there you're set up. So you can do that, you can play a bit slower, or you can play more aggressive with rare candy. So there's two ways you can kind of go about with this deck. You can play aggressive if you need to, or you can kind of just play nice and slow with Beacon. So Vulpix is a really nice setup card. I guess a little Nine Tails can be a nice one of in this deck too, um, just because you can use both, to be honest with you, if you really want to. You can use one of them in case you're super scared of Philcephalon, or you can play the Fairy one because you can get a Umax Potion. So there is some benefits of playing both. I don't think you need it though. And of course we got our Ditto, can be a 5th Trico, can turn it into Muck, we got one Lele just for Wonder Tag. And I'm playing the 63 Trico, so Find a Friend is a really good attack for these Grass decks. Um, so this Tech Pokemon, I really think the only one you can really consider is this little Ranches with Sunny Day. Sceptile's numbers sometimes can be pretty awkward, 60 and 130 only equals 190, so you don't one-shot Zo- or you can't two-shot Zoark a lot of the time, you need Choice Band to do so. So Lorantis could be a really good tech option in this deck, because you can evolve it with Ditto, should you not ever need Muck. You can also run Kikyu if you really wanted to. Now we go to the items. I am playing one energy recycle system, just to keep energy coming back when you spam Max Potion so much. And of course we gotta play three copies of Max Potion. It's just really important to be able to heal 
all of your septiles consistently. Very important to heal. This deck has a lot of healing mechanisms and Max Potion is one of them. Very important, especially against Zoark. When you spam Mach Cut, you consistently heal. I am playing a Nest Ball and four Net Balls and four Ultra Balls. So a lot of balls in the deck. I'm dying, I know, but got Nest Ball. One of the reasons why I'm playing Nest and Net Ball with a split, only one though, is really because you can get Ditto Roll Picks with it, which is still really good. Four Net Balls gets you an energy. Really good to combo with Max Potion and also really good in general to set with so you get multiple Tricos going. Three Rare Candies. Again, if you want to play Grass with Sceptile, you do have the option to Rare Candy into it. I'm playing one Stretcher to get my Pokemon back. Four Ultra Balls again. And just one Stadium, Life Forest. But this is a huge Stadium to play for Sceptile. Healing 60 is very important to keep up with the consistency this deck has with its aggressive nature against the Arc decks. And going to Supporters now. I am playing two Tate Lizes. I just want to get this out of the way. Just here for the Switch Effect. Very important with a Wool and Muck in play. I got four Lilies for draw, four Cynthia's for draw. I am only playing two Guzmas. I feel like three is better. You can also just fit a Palpat in if you really wanted to. Um, but there's so many other important cards in this deck. I couldn't find room for the third Guzma, but I could see three. But I'm fine with sticking with two for now. Guzma is fine. Except that I usually attacks the active most of the time. Uh, of course, four Cynthia's. One Ace Rolla, another really good healing card with Sceptile. Especially if you have a Grovile already in play from last turn. It's a beautiful combo. Three Choice Bands. Again, very important for Sceptile to do better numbers with Mod Cut. Leaf Cyclone. Once you boost energy, if you set up multiple Sceptiles, Super Boost Energy allows you to do Leaf Cyclone for free. Or for one energy, not for free, what am I saying? For one energy, really good with Max Potion, actually. And eight Grass Energies. Seven might be a bit safer, because you do have this in this deck, but I really like playing eight. I think eight's a great number. And yeah, this is my uh, Sceptile Max Potion Muck deck. I, I don't know. I guess we'll just call it Aggressive Sceptile. I don't know. But let's go do some games a second piece of joke. See the deck in action, and see what this archetype is really all about. Alright guys, let's go do some matches with Sceptile, and let's see what we play against. Alright, here we go. First match, looks like we're up against potentially a Zoark Ninetales deck. This could also be a... Yeah, it's Zoark Ninetales, probably. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we start with. Hopefully we get a good starting hand here. Not bad. The Vulpix start is always good. You want to start with Vulpix, do a couple beacons, set yourself up a little bit. It's always nice. Um, if you just playing Zoark, obviously we do have Sceptile and Mock Cut, and that's all we really need. Just playing Guardi. Okay. Guardi's okay. You know, we basically will have one energy on us most of the time. Um, oh, he's playing Sylveon. Okay, so probably won't need Muck in this matchup. But I can definitely see us just winning. Like, Mach Cut's really good against Gardevoir. If they do, like, super boost energy or DCE, that gets shut down. We don't have a way to stop Magical Ribbon, though. Which is my only issue. We don't have a way to stop it. And he's doing... I, that's what I was worried that was going to happen. That's kind of annoying. I was worried he would do a Guzma. And that's, of course, what he did. We got our own Guzma, though. Probably get another Trico. I don't want to waste Guzmas like this, but... I'm gonna do it anyways. I don't. I'm fine with that. I don't want to be stuck in the active spot. We'll do Beacon for probably Sceptile and Grovile. I can get. I mean, I can get double Grovile too. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go double Grovile. Yeah, it's fine. We could get a rare candy Sceptile, I guess, but. I don't know, we're probably not going to draw a rare candy. We're not going to be able to go into Sceptile. I think it's safe. Just get the two Grow Vials. He's going to be slowly building up with Magical Ribbon. And we'll be slowly building up with Beak. He has to burn energy to retreat though. Which is kind of what I wanted him to do here. Oh my gosh, he's playing a Ranguru. Maybe this is like Sylveon Stall or something. I was going to say, like, what would a Ranguru do in a Gardevoir deck when you have Twilight? That doesn't make much sense. Ooh, he has to burn a DCE. That's good really good actually that means he would have ko'd me too with uh fairy wind so i'm glad he did that because now i don't have to worry about one less dce the only thing that's worrying is this thing but mock cut should be good against guardy it makes him do less damage and as long as we're consistent with max potion and life forest we can hopefully tank hits against gardevoir and win in the gardevoir war if there is even i don't even know if there's a gardevoir war but whatever uh, we'll attach we will cynthia Actually, I should have done thing first, but we'll wait. Whatever, I, who cares? 
We'll uh, Sunshine Grace for Trico. So we prized our f our other Trico. That's fine. Um, I mean, probably just get Sceptile. So we got Taint Liza, which is good. We can go into Sceptile next turn. We do have a Life Forest. We have our other Sceptile too, which is nice. So we'll just do Beacon for Ditto and probably just Grovile. I guess. I could have grabbed Lele, I guess, too, if I wanted to do Guzma. I probably won't. If I had another energy, I'd be tempted to Guzma. If he goes Rare Candy Garvor, we could Guzma it and then, like, just hit it with Leaf Cyclone. Be two shot Garvor with Leaf Cyclone. And we take an energy off of our active. So, like, it's a really good way to just make Gardevoir not do much damage. And if, I think we'll be okay. Oh, he's attaching a DC, which is fine. If he knocks me out, whatever. Vulpix served his job, and we can start muck cutting this away and he's playing Zoar. so the only thing that's annoying me is this thing um don't really know why it's in here because Garvor, but our anger is gonna be a bit of an annoyance because it gets him back his dces which is really dumb but we'll see what we can do choice band's really good sure i did we don't really need to do this but we'll do it anyways we'll grow vile Put Sceptile down here. This guy might be good too, maybe. If we get super boost energy online. Do I hold the hand though? So I actually do like this hand. But I want to see if I get some max potions going or something. Just in case. Just, okay, no. Just a bunch of more supporters. Well, in the meantime, we should probably just start building up more energy. We'll just mock cut that off. And knock him out next turn. We'll run him out of DCs, we'll be good. Zoark, Garvor, rely pretty, and Sylveon rely pretty heavily on DC. But when you're playing a green deck, guys, you're playing a grass deck, you gotta have something green to drink. Just saying. Ooh, it's gonna feel blowing my choice band off. That's fine. We did the 90 damage. There's an ace roller. Did he, he already did a pile pad, didn't he? Yeah, so maybe he only plays one and we don't have to worry about that ace roller again. We have our own Ace Roller, though, so, right, we'll be good. So he's gonna trade, get rid of our candy. Gardevoir might not do much damage. He's short DCs, he's down two, so he might not even hit me that hard. You gotta find Life Forest. He could set up a two shot here, which is what I'm worried about. Okay, 90 damage. We probably gotta get Life Forest. Something Grace. We prized a max potion, actually. Not that I would play it, but we did prize a max potion. Good to know. Do I do Ultra Ball? I think I will. The only problem is I don't really need Muck. It actually might be worse to get Muck here. I'm actually gonna get Lele, because then I can do Ace Roller next turn. We'll just Lily, hopefully we hit the Life Force. No, we didn't, that's fine. Okay, so we have 140 HP left. I don't see Sceptile living, dude. I don't see Sceptile surviving. But, we can hit him really hard here. I don't think Sceptile's gonna live, though. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get Life Forest. If he doesn't knock me out, if we somehow live with like 10, 20, 30 HP, we can drop an Ace Roller on him, which is what I'm going to do. Sceptile, you got one job. It's to survive. Can you do it? Okay, he's going to max Potion, which is fine. That's more energy he has to discard. Um, but we can just continue to Leaf Cycle on him, so it's not a big deal. Plus, I'm pretty sure we're safe now. Because, yeah, he just got rid of two energies. So Sceptile hopefully is safe here. Another Guzma going down. Cynthia. We'll see if he gets any more Ralts or Zoroas. There's another Ralts. So we'll probably just Ace Roller here. He's gonna Ultra Ball away Stretcher. Okay. I, li I like the Stretcher discard. Again, he has Twilight. He still does have resource management. So 
he has a lot of ways to get stuff back, which is not good. One of the things that like makes Septile so nice is that like you can run your opponent out of special energies and energy really quickly, but because he's got stuff like resort, oh, he's actually going for the Twilight. Okay, did not see that coming. I don't know if I want to do his roll anymore, but that's fine. That just resets everything, which works for me, I guess. It's definitely gonna make those DCEs. I'm actually fine with this because I can hit him pretty hard. Plus, now he doesn't have plea anymore. Plea could have been a problem, I guess. Plea could. Oh, I got the Ace Roller back. That's annoying. He only has two cards in his hand, so we'll see. Got another energy. I think I like have to do the Ace Roller here because I, I don't know what. I'm in trouble, anyways. Yeah, I'm in trouble if I don't do Ace Roller. I think I just go for the Ace Roller, honestly. Yeah, it's, I think I'm just going to go for it. We're going to Ace Roller. It's only 90 damage. But, because he got back those 2 DCs, he has 4 in his deck now. It's easier for him to knock me out. I think it's safer to do this. This forced him to have to do, like, another Max Potion. Did he get it back? He did. It's fine. We're probably not getting Muck. I'm pretty sure Muck's not doing anything in this matchup, so we can not grab it. I am looking for that Life Force, though. We do have Max Potion, though, for next turn, which I like. We'll just leave Cyclone. Move the grass to grow a while. Now we're chilling. We'll see what he does. Ooh, he's gonna judge me. That's fine. We do lose his hand. Not much was going on. We just... Either way, we can get the Sceptile back out, so it's not a big deal. Oh, we got the Lily. That's what I was hoping we would get. We did get a Rare Candy, which is not really doing anything. This is kind of the issue with playing Groviles and Rare Candy. Like, you're both... They're both going to be pretty useless at some point in the match. Which is looking like it's the case right now. Get another Guardy goes down. Hopefully he doesn't Max Potion here. He's got 100 HP rips. So we actually can't knock him out with Cut. Would have been nice. But we will knock him out here with Leaf Cyclone. Okay, so I don't know if Sceptile survives the turn again. Can we get Life Force, though, is the question. Can we find Life Force? So I feel like if we can find Life Force, we'll be okay. We got back Field Blower, but I needed to play that anyways. Though Choice Band is pretty good in this matchup, I find. Because you can actually two-shot them with Leaf Cyclone, and then you two-shot them with Mock Cut. Lily, give us Life Force. We did not get it. Um, hmm. Part of me wants to Ultra Ball away Vulpix and Rare Candy. Part of me doesn't really care. So let's just do Leaf Cyclone, knock him out. Our best prize we can get, probably another Max Potion, and definitely the other Sceptile. The other Sceptile GX. No, we got the other Sceptile, but not the other Sceptile GX. We do have enough energy on board, though, for Powerful Storm to do a decent chunk of damage, though, which is good. So, see if we get KO'd here. He needs to do 150 damage with his attack. So far, he's doing 60. He needs to find a Fairy and a DC, or a DC and a Choice Band, so... We'll see if he hits it. He didn't get it? Oh my gosh. That's insane. A stretcher, that's a good draw, especially if he did knock me out. So, unfortunately, we're not knocking him out, but I can do this. Which is... Switch when you're active, yeah. This is really evil. Actually, let's hold that in case he just hits me. Um, no, just leaf cycle on it. And this is good. If he doesn't get this choice band off, we'll actually just knock him out with mock cut next turn. Which means if he just hits me really hard, doesn't KO me, or doesn't max potion, we can max potion and doesn't fuel blur, we can just knock him out with mock cut. It's unfortunate that we literally have to have the choice band for both attacks, but this is still good nonetheless. Nice can trade. Get rid of an ultra ball. Okay. 
So there are some points where like Lorantis would be good in here too, actually, because then we won't have to worry about these numbers as much. And Lorantis lets us knock him out with a Lee Cyclone with a Choice Band on a Lele if he's ever on the bench. Whatever though, it's fine. It's gonna bring Ultra Ball. We gotta hope he doesn't find Max Potion and, and a big attack. But for now, we're chilling. We can even do Jungle Heal if it ever comes down to it. There's an Ace Roll. Okay. To be fair, he can't really go into much. Did he find a DC? Dude, that's awesome. It's only 100, though. So we need to find our life force, man. How many energies have we lost? Just one. Oh. To be honest, we actually don't really get knocked out here. He's out of rare candies. Ooh. He needs to find a choice band of the Pokemon, not go to Sceptile. I'm honestly feeling ballsy enough to just mock cut him. I honestly feel like mock cut's the best play. I don't know. I I'm, I feel really safe here. I feel like this guy just doesn't have... He needs to find a lot to knock me out. And the nice thing is, we can knock him out with Leaf Cyclone without the choice band. So we can probably just retreat Max Potion Leaf Cyclone here. And pal pad. Really hope it doesn't get that ace roll again. He needs to find a choice band another Pokemon knock me out though. And he needs to find another DC. So he actually needs quite a bit to actually take out my Sceptile. And I'm gonna make it so that he needs to find all those cards. Even if he hits them, I think it's still a good play regardless. Because it still forces a lot out of my opponent here. Plus he's out of rare candies. I honestly don't know if he's playing Curly or not. Cynthia. I was hoping he actually wouldn't hit a supporter. That might give him the DC choice band. Because he has another trade. He's going to Field Blower. Okay, that's fine. Choice band did his job. We still have one left, so whatever. Found the DC. Did he find a choice band? Hmm. No, he didn't. I mean, we're just giving it to him. <laughs> oh my gosh. I almost feel bad. So we'll retreat. We need to get our energy recycle system too. I mean, yeah, at this point, rip my opponent. I'm gonna Ultra Ball. Actually, okay, he scoops. I was gonna get rid of the Netball, but I was like, maybe I need to keep that. But yeah, there you go. Sceptile, man, just you beat a lot of matchups where they just have to land it. And I am curious to see if this guy had any choice bands. He doesn't play any choice band in his list. New move. I mean, if you're going to play Guardi, you don't need Sylveon, so... I think he could have gone without that. He played... How many Max Potions? He played three Max Potion. So, yeah, this guy was really relying on those heals, so it could have been a bit of a heal war, but... Again, Sceptile, just... We have way more healing thanks to our Max Potions. That was a pretty good match, though, not going to lie. That was a pretty good game. So we'll do another match for the deck, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. Alright guys, we're going to go do another game with Sceptile. We'll see if we actually get to use Muck this time around. Muck is good in certain scenarios. Looks like we're against Steelix. Okay. Uh, this is another deck that does play DCE, so we, you know, could definitely use this to our advantage. The only thing that's kind of worrying me is the non-GX focus. Not to mention, Muck only does like 30 damage to him, so yeah, we're like tickling him. Um, so yeah, this could be scary. Metal Frying Pan is actually really annoying for us. But, uh, we got the Ditto, we got the Vulpix. I think Ditto's good. We shut down Victini and probably Delmize. And whatever other things. I think Victini and Delmize. But both of those are good things to shut down. Delmize, 10 less damage. Okay, starting with a Buzzful. Never mind. Okay. If he's playing Ultra Beast, that's fine too. We have the other Sceptile, of course, with the ability. Really curious as to what he's playing. This, I guess this is just a shrine deck, I guess. Okay, so it is a shrine deck. Okay. He's probably playing Garboder. That's really bad. We actually do play quite a few items. Hmm. Ultra Ball and Sceptile? Do I want to do Lily, though? I might just get a Trico. I think I just get Trico. 
I gotta hope this other stuff's not prized, because this could be a bit of a weird play. I don't want to get Lele, though. Okay, so we do have our muck. Yeah, okay, we got other stuff. Tell not prized. We got all our max potions. How's our energy looking? Energy's looking good. Okay, that's nice. I would go for Lily, but the problem is, is when you Lily, you put Lily down in a, in a Shine matchup, it's an easy target, and there we go. Okay, we got, we might have to do Lily next turn, which is fine. I don't really care about that. Am I going to need Muck, though? That's another part. Am I going to need Muck? I want to say no. Okay, we'll attach. I doubt we'll get knocked in. We'll just do Beacon for probably just Trico and another Sceptile. Hmm. I mean, Muck does shut down Diancie, though, which is good. I just don't want to get, like, trapped in the active spot. That's the only thing that's kind of worrying about Muck in this matchup. I mean, I guess he can't use a Ranguru. He can't use Diancie. But I'm hesitant on grabbing Muck in all honesty. I might honestly just use this as another Sceptile. It might honestly be better just to establish a multiple board of Sceptiles than it is to get Muck in this matchup. If this was a Gramble or Lost March, I could see Muck. I mean, it is going to shut down Diancie, but if his only fine tucker is Buzzwool, I don't really think we need Muck that much, and it's going to be more of a hazard. I actually am more worried about Muck getting stuck in the active spot and then Shrine ticking away at me. Metal energy. What the heck? What the heck? All right, so we're just going to slowly set up. I genuinely think that like the best play here is just get like a bunch of grow vials out i think ditto can go into grow vial i honestly don't really think we need muck he's playing metal energy though he might play dialga I don't, you know what muck you don't need to come into play i think yeah muck you know what screw we're, dip, we're ditching the muck we're ditching the muck yeah i think we can just uh Beacon. Or... Sceptile Trico. Sure. I'm, I'm not saying he's going to shut my abilities down, but it does not matter what we grabbed. I could have got the other Volpix, because we can obviously Sunshine Grease, but this saves us time. I don't know. I think we're just basically set up at this point. See, the nice thing is, you want to go the strategy of playing aggressive with Bear Candy. You have that option. If you want to just sit back and beacon while you slowly build up like four girl vials, that's the other way you can play this deck, and that's what's working. He did build up swing around though, which is fine. He can't attack me next turn, so it does not matter. Actually, we win. <laughs> I don't even need to go multiple septiles. We just straight up win the game. We just straight up win with Lee Cycle. Uh, you know, screw just in case. But yeah, we win. Easy peasy. But yeah, you play against Ultra Beast. Pretty straightforward strategy. Just get Sceptile into play as fast as you can. And you're golden. This is why this deck can be fine against Placephalon. I think we got 600 coins. Oh. It wasn't a Garbuzz. It's actually... Um, looks like it was like an Ultra Beast box. Interesting. Okay, I actually, you know what, I gotta give this deck credit. It's actually a pretty cool uh, deck. I actually, I'm not gonna lie, it's actually a really cool deck idea using all Ultra Beasts, but we literally auto, we auto win with Sceptile. So, it's a cool deck idea, but we auto win with Sceptile. And, we got 5k coins, which is what, 35, pa 25 packs, 27 packs, not bad. Hopefully we can get like 50 packs for the next set. That'd be great. Just keep getting packs for the next set. Looking good. I might grind some tourneys if I ever get time to stream or something. I'm probably going to do some tourney grinding. Um, obviously you win tourneys, you get 400 coins, which is a lot. And if you can win like 3 tourneys, you get 1200 coins, which is immediately 6 packs. So it's like a really good way to grind out coins for the next set. So it's a good idea. To do that, and we probably will go for that. Okay, so we're gonna lose a coin flip. Our starts have been pretty solid. We've been consistent starting with Voltix. We've been consistently getting multiple grow vials in play. And this is where the slowdown begins. We got the Lele start. Though we have our candy and netball. So if we draw anything good, we can definitely get bailed out. But 
for now our hand is not looking too hot. And he's playing Rayquaza. Okay. This is probably one of our worst matchups. This is actually a matchup where Muck shines because you can't do Stormy Winds. And Zero Aura, which is pretty good actually. We drew an Ultra Ball. We only play one Lele, but you can get Grovile or Septile next turn, I guess. Not great though. Not good at all. I mean, I could just get Ditto, just to guarantee the Muck. I don't know. This hand is awful. I there's nothing to work. There's nothing to ultra ball away. I guess Max Potion can go because we probably won't need them if he's just gonna one shot me. But my best hope next turn is to draw like a Lily or a Cynthia. We can ultra ball and we can just go aggressive with Sceptile. But this is definitely a matchup where Muck does shine, but like Sceptile is just not good. This is a hard matchup. We Rayquaza easily reaches numbers and we don't one shot it. There's really no way we can stop him. Okay, he actually got a, a bunch of energy there. That's fine. Less energy for strong charge. Not terrible. Does he have anything else? Rare Candy. They always have Rare Candy Vigabold in their hand. I don't get it. Rayquaza Vigabold decks are... They're rigged. They're, they're so rigged, dude. I mean, if you just build a bunch of energy, there's nothing we can do. Because we, we're never going to one-shot him. pretty bad oh. yo this guy had like the had the most perfect hand ever he was sitting on a rare candy vehicle bolt. yep there we go he's gonna knock out lele not much i can do not much i can do we literally lose <laughs> i don't think we're gonna win this game even if we get septile in play it's not gonna do much See what we draw. Good Guzma. Yeah. I. I guess I can. I guess, I guess we'll, we'll we'll try. I mean, we're probably not gonna win this, but I mean, I can try. I can also obviously grab Rogue Island within a little bit more, but whatever. This hand is so bad. I might as well just go all in. Unfortunate. We definitely could have had value out of using Muck and stuff, but whatever. We lose. He just needs to get, like, a bunch of energy. I don't know. We should lose this game. I don't really think it matters what I did there. We just lose. That's unfortunate. I mean, decks that can set up this fast are pretty hard to beat, even though you have some aggressive rare candy. But again, Septile just doesn't do good numbers against Rayquaza. It doesn't one-shot it. Doesn't Rayquaza just beats it because it can easily counter the... It can just counter through your HP... And, well, having Muck is good. Muck is also just not very good. But Vigavolt decks are rigged, so it doesn't matter. Because they always get turned to Vigavolt somehow. So, it doesn't matter. You're always going to lose to Vigavolt or Rayquaza, I think, just in general. You Muck, it'll probably be too late to get Muck out. They'll, they'll have a full field of Rayquaza. But, yeah, Vigavolt decks are all, they're rigged, so it doesn't matter. They always somehow manage to pull off a turn to Vigavolt, regardless of what their hand is. Okay, so we're up against... Maybe another Guardy deck. Alright, so see what we do on the coin flip. We do win it. Alright, let's get a better start this time. Other than that, do do of a hand. Alright. Mulligan. Alright, here we go. Will pick start again? No. Double Trico, though, is actually pretty good. I actually do like this hand quite a bit, actually. Especially with Lily. We'll see what we're up against. Probably a Gardevoir deck. I was right. Alright. We gotta take down Gardevoir again. So, how many candies? Okay, I'm tempted to just go for the aggressive with Rare Candy Sceptile. Though part of me does want to just use my full picks, but I think it's better to do this. Ultra Ball, I mean, I kind of like this roller. It was really good in the last matchup we did against Guardi. Choice Band, again, it's really important to two-shot Gardevoir. So we're going to Lele for a nice big Lily for 7. And then from here, we're going to rely on the uh, turn 2 knockout on... Or not knockout, but turn 2 Sceptile. And maybe just mock cut the Ralts. That'd be pretty good. 
And right, we got it. Um, might as well spare the energy. Just might as well. He could just drop a Lele DC on me, but whatever. Mm, yeah, he might actually do that, to be honest. I actually am worried that he's going to DC Guzma Lele me, but... It's not really progressing his board, and then we actually mock up the DC. Off. All right, never mind. We don't have to worry about that. Great. We'll see if he judges me or marshadows me. Gets rid of this nice hand I got. We'll see what kind of a Garver deck this is. Uh, I don't think I saw Carlos. So, I don't know if he's playing... Um, what's his face? I don't know if he's playing... Um, Sylveon again, or even Alolan Ninetales. I'm pretty sure I just saw Fairy, Psychic, and something else. I forget the other tag. We'll drop the Sceptile on him. This is the nice thing about having Rare King Sceptile. It's it's faster than using Grovile, and Sceptile is a very aggressive man. I'm going to hold these choice bands in case of Field Blower. We're going to do this, see what we can get. Another Netball, might as well play it. I guess. Just thin the deck a little bit. Not a great hand, so... Yeah. Oh, come on. Could get a Ditto here, but we'll just mock cut. Actually, I don't even know if Ditto will muck or prize. But again, I don't really know if we'll need muck in this matchup. It's one of those matchups where you don't need to shut anything down. I think we're just chilling. I mean, we got a good setup. We got a good setup. We can probably send this hand. Oh, he has Rare Candy Guard for So he is not out of the game just yet. But we can mock cut, max potion... Maybe we actually retreat, because I have the choice band on. Holy DCE. Okay, I think we still mock cut. I could go in all in and just hit him with a leaf cyclone, but uh, I feel like mock cut's a better call here. In case he does heal, like ace roller would be pretty bad. Okay, so let's see what we draw. Okay, that's a good just, that's a good start. Alright, so we'll do the Sunshine Grace. Get Sceptile. I think we will retreat. And just mock cut him, I guess. Get you. Um, yeah, we retreat, mock cut him. Spread the energy out a little bit. We'll play this now. We already got a thousand play. And I want to play this Lily. Don't think we're going to need full picks, but... Yeah, we'll just Lily for three. I'm not going to play it down if we don't need to play it. Yeah, we did prize our ditto. Another Lily. Alright, we'll mock cut him. Hopefully slow him down a little bit. It's better than just hitting him really hard and then he just heals... I think it's better to play like this. Would've been nice to get another max potion though, but we can always just retreat and go back into mock cut. Always do jungle heal if he ever gets a slowdown point where he doesn't attack me. Another rare candy Gardevoir. And this is Saint Stopping. Ooh, he did have an Ace Rolla. That's really good. Well, it's bad actually, but it's good that he discarded it is what I meant to say. See what he does. He's going for Lily. Okay, so we should be able to knock out Guardi here unless he field blowers me off. But if not, hopefully we're good. I doubt he's gonna knock me out. We got rid of one of his DCs. He's Lily for six, which is a lot, I guess, but again, I feel pretty safe. Yeah, attachment. I mean, he could just hit double Secret Spring. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I I, I don't know. He did just draw six cards. Oh, he actually did it. What? Yo, get out of here. Yo, he actually hit three energies off of that Lily for six. Okay, never mind. I my math was completely off. We got a stretcher back, so it works out fine. I'm not a fan of this hand. I'm gonna do this anyways because I need to draw into like more max potions. There we go. Sadly, we can't play it. Just gonna keep thinning the deck a little bit. Actually, maybe I should have held that with Stretcher. Whatever. Yeah, maybe I should. Whatever. Stupid play. Cool. We knock him out anyways. We're going to get knocked out here. But 
It was for the good of all. We are getting two prizes. So let's see what we get. Nest ball and a receptile. Alright, we can stretch your net ball. Okay, cool. I think we're in a decent spot still. Obviously, we just got bodied by that Gardevoir, but I think we're good. We can still keep the two shot alive. I mean, he did just lose a bunch of energies. He lost six. Maybe he whiffs. I doubt it, but I am hopeful. He did whiff. Let's see if he dedicates all the energy to him. No, no he's playing Sylveon. Never mind. I guess I'm just stupid and I didn't see the colors typing in his deck. Or it didn't show me it. I don't know. Pokenab. Okay. Oh, he actually did DC off that. Bruh. What are you talking about? Okay, well, I don't, it's still going to be really hard for him to one-shot me with one energy on, so I'm feeling good. We're still in the lead in prizes, so that's good. Alright, let's see what our top deck is. Netball. Alright, well, we'll uh, do this. Get all these boys back. Netball for Trico, the Gecko. The Tree Gecko. And we'll just leave Cyclone. Today? Oh my gosh, don't disconnect me. Alright, yeah. Leave Cyclone. He's probably going to heal this turn, which is what I'm guessing he's going to do. It's fine. Just move this onto the other Trico. At some point, I do want to do Powerful Storm to him. So, yeah. Alright, sure, we'll uh, let him run a Vulpix. He might plea me here, actually. Which... I'm fine with. We still have Rurikandy Sceptile. It's not the end of the world if he does that. Hopefully we can draw a Guzma, though. Mm, no, he's just got Fairy Wind. Okay, that's fine. We just keep playing aggressive Sceptile, then. Let's see what we draw. Tate and Liza. Okay, that's good. We got another supporter. We can start getting more things. Life Forest is what we're looking for. Oh my gosh, dude. My internet, man. I'm I'm about to sue my internet. I don't even know if you can do that, but I'm about to sue my internet providers. This is this is actually a joke. It's a sick joke, I'm telling you. Okay. Do we mock cut him? Or do we just leave Cyclone? We can't do enough math to really knock him out. We only we we didn't short if we combo them. But honestly, I'm fine with doing mock cut. Actually, no, nah, screw it. Let's just do leaf cyclone. All right, let's see if we can just find life force or something. No, we did get max potion though. That's good. Just leaf cyclone. Move an energy to the other Sceptile. Or Lele. Or this Sceptile. Now nah, move it here. I don't think he's gonna Guzma knock me out. That's what I was scared of. That's why I don't want to put an energy on Lele, because I don't want him to, like, go in Guzma KO me. Which could happen. I'm a little scared of that, not gonna lie. See if he ace roll with Sylveon. Well, maybe he is going for Guzma. He's putting a lot of energy on that Gardevoir. Apricorn Maker. Okay, never mind. We're good. I'm actually tempted to just switch out and knock him out Powerful Storm. I think that's a good call because this guy, you know, he's kind of chilling, not doing much. And I think it's actually good to just take a knock out the non-GX Pokemon. Double heads. Nope. Double tails, I meant. Okay, so what I'm actually also trying to do here is top deck my other Guzma so I can KO this Guardy. I think we take out Gardevoir, we should be set. And he's going in with it. Okay, interesting. Really interesting that he did that. Hey, Choice Paint, nice. So we can actually just... Okay, no, we got the retreat. Okay, that's fine. Bad call, my boy. <laughs> Dude, the Max Potion Sceptiles. It's putting it on him. I don't want to put that down because it's an easy prize, but I need to draw some cards here, man. There's Ace Rolla. That's a big one. Now we knock him out. He is really low on energies now. He is 
very, very low on energy. So yeah, Sceptile Max Potion just just did its job. There's our other Trico. There's Ditto. Pretty good cards, actually, because we can try and get another Sceptile in play. But yeah, I think at this point we should win the game. I guess I should knock him out with Powerful Storm. My bad. Never mind. He's not... Yeah, he's going to escape. Okay, cool. Sceptile, Sceptile doing it in and we got a lot of coins in this video we are very good on coins now for the next set but uh, that's gonna wrap up this pcho video i think those games were fine we showed off like the strength of just constantly max potioning and healing your septile um but again this is a very fun deck to play septile gx is really fun to play if you play against special energy deck mock cut will do justice um, and I think we did a good job showing it off. We showed off how this deck kind of falls flat in its face, especially against Rayquaza, which is arguably one of our worst matchups. Again, Vigabolt is always a rigged deck because they somehow always pull off that Vigabolt on turn two. Don't know how. But Rayquaza is just too fast. It's good numbers. Doesn't have much energy. It's, I think, too hard to beat. We didn't get to use the Muck, but that's fine. Muck is just there for certain scenarios. The real heart of the deck is Sceptile and Max Potion, and Ace Rolla, and Life Force. But yeah, that was a very fun showcase of the deck. I do think Sceptile has a lot of credit, and I do think it's a very strong card in Standard right now. It does a lot of good things. And yeah, this deck can beat Blacephalon thanks to this. So this deck has a lot going for it, I think. Thanks for watching this PCO video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like. Don't forget to subscribe to help me reach 4,000 subscribers. We are not even at 3,800 yet. So if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure to help me reach 3,800 subs. And again, sub to help me on the road to reaching 4,000 thousand subscribers. See you guys on a PCGO video. Have a good day. Goodbye.